Hello everyone and welcome back to Hummingbird Tributes. My name is Therese. I'm a funeral celebrant and I thought we'd talk a bit more about what a funeral celebrant does and how I can be of help to you, possibly in a time of need. So let's just start with the overall basics of what I do. So when a loved one has passed away and you contact a funeral home or even starting with your GP, over this process you will be connected with a funeral director and in doing that if I am working with that funeral director, they will call upon me. Or if you happen to already know who I am, you can ask for me and they will locate me for you. What I do is I work with you, the family and friends of the loved one who's passed away. It's a really difficult time things will feel very chaotic for you. You'll be confused, you'll be sad, you might even feel angry. You'll be anxious. It'll be a hard time and you'll need some support for that and I'm there for you to do just that. Um, I will come to you wherever you may be or we may meet at the funeral director's office, whatever's best for you. And I'll spend time getting to know you and your family. And then we'll work together to create a tribute for your loved one, a eulogy that celebrates their life and talks about who they are in this world, what they meant to you, the things they did, the things that you'll remember them for. And something really important for you to remember is this is all up to you. It's not for me as the celebrant to decide. This service can be anything you want it to be. You can choose the music. You can choose poems. You can choose to speak if you'd like or I can speak on your behalf, or we can even take it in turns, whatever works best for you. Some people ask, what is a humanist funeral? What does a celebrant do? Um, what's the difference between maybe a church funeral, for example? So I don't have a specific denomination that I'm set on. That means that if you and your family are religious and have specific beliefs and you want your service to go a specific way to include hymns or um, favorite pieces out of the Bible that you might like to be spoken, I'm happy to do that for you. If you don't believe in that, maybe you believe in reincarnation. Maybe you believe in just resting in peace or freedom from a struggle. Whatever that is, my job is to go with you and stand by your side and make that possible for you and put that all into the right words with the right music and the right poetry so that on the day of the service, you feel like your loved one is really represented and you have something special that you can take with you. There are many funeral directors and services that now do webcasting. And that means that although you may still be present at the service, Maybe you have family or friends that are scattered across the world, as many of our loved ones are nowadays. You can actually have a webcast so that your loved ones can log in and be part of the service and watch it 
and, and feel like they're part of that experience, which is so important. It's, it's very difficult to have lost someone and not be able to be there if, if you can't make the actual service. So now there's a way to do that. Did you also know that beyond a church or a crematorium, you could also have the service at your home. You may decide that you want a burial at a cemetery. We can do that as well. It's completely up to you what you'd like to do, what you know your loved one would have wished for. We can make that happen. So you lean on me and I will get you through and together we will make a lasting and beautiful memorial for your loved one. So that's what I wanted to share with you today and I'll have more vlogs coming up um, and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments. Um, if you have questions about how services are run or questions of ways that you might like to see a service done ask me anything I'll answer the best I can if I don't have the answer I'll find it for you so that's it for now take care be well and I'll talk to you again very soon bye for now